Last night, Clay Buckholz's performance was masterful. Buckholz lasted eight innings, had eight strikeouts, and allowed only three hits. But it was Rusne Castillo who provided the excitement. Castillo grounds it up the middle and into center field, a base hit. Sander Bogart's being waved around, and the Red Sox take a 1-0 lead. And Hicks drives one to deep right field. Rusne Castillo back at the wall to make the catch. Right in front of the wall, and not so fast, says Rusne Castillo. Welcome to Fenway Park as we play day baseball, part of a day-night doubleheader from the Fens. It's the Minnesota Twins and the Boston Red Sox. Welcome inside the broadcast booth, everybody. I'm Don Orsillo along with Jerry Remy. Welcome to Red Sox baseball. Well, in Texas, we got to see Eduardo Rodriguez for the first time, and today the Fenway faithful will get their first look. Well, he was so impressive down in Texas, and, you know, you hate to make a big deal about one start, but it was so impressive uh, by Rodriguez that so you have to talk about it. And the fact that on Thursday against the Texas Rangers, went seven and two-thirds, allowed three hits, no runs, seven strikeouts. They only walked two in that ball game. And when John Farrell was asked about him this morning, he said the thing that impressed him the most was his composure on the mound. He was not nervous at all, worked at a quick pace, uh, threw strikes, and that is the key for him. You know, he's always done that in the minor leagues, throw strikes, and they hope he continues to do that at the big leagues. But it was exciting to watch down in Texas, gets his first start here at Fenway Park today. I don't think he's going to be nervous because he wasn't nervous in his first start. Looking forward to today. Certainly all smiles all the way around in Texas in his first outing. Looking for more smiling today. We'll see how it goes. Red Sox and Twins game one coming your way next. Audi experience the new Audi A3 today. Dunkin' Donuts America runs on Dunkin'. Toyota's website for deals by a Toyota.com. Digital Federal Credit Union, see what DCU can save you. Sullivan Tire and Auto Service, thank you to England for 60 great years. And by Southwest Airlines, book your low fare now at Southwest.com. Now the Red Sox and the Minnesota Twins playing the day game of a day-night doubleheader. And on the mound today for the Red Sox, Eduardo Rodriguez. Starting pitcher brought to you by your local New England Audi dealers. Seven and two-thirds last time out in his Major League debut against Texas, allowing no runs, walking two, and striking out seven through 105 pitches in his Major League debut. 
now facing a hot Minnesota Twins team. And stepping in is Brian Dozier to lead it off here for the Twins. First pitch of the ball game is in there for strike one, and we're underway. Brian Dozier hitting at 254 coming in with nine home runs and 25 runs batted in. It's the arms out of the way and takes a pitch running inside. Of course, Eduardo Rodriguez picked up by the Red Sox from the Orioles in the Andrew Miller deal, the trade deadline last year. As he jumps ahead, one and two. Now the game we saw down in Texas, it was the fastball, the slide up, and the changeup from Rodriguez. Swing and a miss, and a good start to this outing for Rodriguez. Strikes out Dozier to get it started. Let's check out the rest of the Twins starting nine. It's brought to you by New England Chevy dealers. Just saw Brian Dozier, the second baseman. Shane Robinson is in left field with Trevor Plouffe at first base. Torrey Hunter is in right field as Kurt Suzuki does the catching. Eduardo Escobar is at third base while Eduardo Nunez is the DH. Aaron Hicks in center bats eighth and Danny Santana, the shortstop bats ninth. Shane Robinson checks in for his first appearance of the series. 267, no homers, eight runs batted in. Shoots it foul off to the grandstand to the right. Robinson now, Plouffe next. As he moves up in the order and changes corners in the infield. Going from third to first and batting third today. Center fielder Mookie Betts into right center field and a big gap out there in left center here for Shane Robinson. 2 1 pitch fouled off to the right again. So that fastball reaching 94, 95 miles an hour for uh, Rodriguez. Last fastball trying to go away stays inside at 95 but fouled off. Full count now. And there's ball four, a one out walk here for Shane Robinson. The Red Sox defense is brought to you by Southwest Airlines. They are eighth in the American League with 31 errors on the season. Brock Holt will be at third base. Sander Bogots the shortstop. Dustin Pedroia at second and Mike Napoli the first baseman. Left to right, Hanley Ramirez, Smokey Betts, and Bruzne Castillo. And Sandy Leone once again behind the plate, catching Rodriguez. One down, a walk to Shane Robinson. Two walks last time out for Rodriguez. Trevor Plouffe, the batter. And he'll foul one back, jumping on that first pitch. 94 mile an hour fastball from Eduardo Rodriguez. Numbers for Plouffe with 274 with eight homers and 29 runs batted in. Swing and a miss, 0 and 2. A change up that time at 87. He's already thrown a couple here in the uh, first inning where it took him a while last time out to throw the change up. Working from that third base side of the rubber, as you can see clearly right there. From that point, a uh, little bit easy to get the ball in on right handers. Swing and a foul tip for strike three. Second strike out for Eduardo Rodriguez. Two down. This rears back that time with the fastball to pick up the strikeout. So two down, Shane Robinson at first base, and here is Torrey Hunter batting in the cleanup spot today for the Twins. 278, seven homers, 32 runs batted in. Throw to first, and back to the bag is Robinson. Torrey Hunter with a 10 game hitting streak tied for the Twins longest this year. What? 
always enjoyed playing at Fenway Park. Like being a Twins uniform, a Tigers uniform, or an Angels uniform. Great numbers for him here at Fenway. Back with the Twins again. The organization he broke into the big leagues with. Runner goes, Hunter swings and fouls it off. And it's now 0-2. And, and Robinson at first base with three steals on the season. He's been caught one time. Sandy Leon behind the plate for the Red Sox has thrown out four of six base runners trying to go against him so far this season. High for ball one, one and two. The fastball up and Hunter wasn't chasing. On the ground, back to Rodriguez. Fields runs a little bit and flips to first for the out that ends the top of the first inning. Red Sox are coming up from Fenway. Hyundai dealers. Dustin Pedroia leading it off at second base with Mookie Betts in center field. David Ortiz, the DH, with Hanley Ramirez in left. Mike Napoli at first base with Brock Holt at third. Xander Bogarts, the shortstop with Sandy Leon doing the catching. And Ruzne Castillo bats ninth in right field. Twin starting pitcher presented by New England Nissan dealers. Phil Hughes ready to work here in his 11th appearance of the year. In there for strike one to Dustin Pedroia. 4-4 four four with a 4.59 earned run average. 41 Ks to six walks. Opponents hitting a 286 against the former Yankee. Pedroia fouls it off and is down 0-2. The Red Sox will see a lot of fastballs from Hughes today. Fastball, cut fastball, and a curveball as uh, his outing last time against the Red Sox. Good enough to get the win despite giving up four runs in that outing. Ahead of Pedroia 0 and 2. And Dustin lifts one foul down the right field line out of play. And of course had two home runs off Phil Hughes a guy that he has worn out over the years. And five career home runs for Dustin Pedroia against Phil Hughes and on both those pitches they were fastballs inside. We'll watch for that today. 342 average against Hughes, and he'll add to it with a base hit to right field. 
So Pedroia get down on the count, 0 and 2, but still able to get a base hit the opposite way. The Twins defense is brought to you by DraftKings, and they are ninth in the league with 31 errors on the season. Eduardo Escobar at third base, Danny Santana the shortstop, Brian Dozier at second, Trevor Plouffe the first baseman, left to right Shane Robinson, Aaron Hicks and Torrey Hunter, and Kurt Suzuki doing the catching for Bill Hughes. So lead runner on here for the Red Sox in the bottom of the first inning in Pedroia held on over there by Trevor Plouffe. And it brings up Mookie Betts. Yes, he'll take strike one. That's a 246. Five homers and 25 runs batted in. One number that kind of stands out for you is he's given up 12 home runs so far this season. That's a little foul it back our way and Mookie down 0 and 2. It's one for four in the ball game here last night. Since safely in 12 of his last 14 games, hitting in 310 in the last 14 contests. As Pedroia gains his lead at first base. Swing and a miss, and that strikes out. Strikeout number one for Phil Hughes. That's that cut fastball we were talking about right there. He starts it off inside. Betts gives up on it a little bit, and then the cut comes back to the inside corner. The swing, no contact by Mookie Betts. Well, this umpiring crew, Mike Winters, has the plate today calling the balls and strikes with Ben May at first base, Marty Foster at second base, and Mike Muchlinski is the umpire at third. Ben May added to this crew with a day-night doubleheader. One out with Pedroia at first base. And David Ortiz, the batter. The average at 224 for David. One for four ball game last night for Ortiz. Ended up singling in his final at bat last night. It snapped a streak of two straight home games without reaching base. Throw to first and Pedroia diving back to the bag. Dustin one steal so far this season. Caught one time. 313 in his career against Phil Hughes, whether he be in a Yankees uniform or a Twins uniform. Leave it out ahead of that. One ball, one strike to Big Poppy with Pedroia at first and one down. Ortiz straightens this out to center field. Back goes Aaron Hicks onto the dirt of the track, and it's going to be off the wall, the 379 marker. Pedroia read it well, trying to come all the way around. He will as the Red Sox take a 1 0 lead on a wall ball double for David Ortiz. That was a pretty good deke out there by Aaron Hicks. It almost got Pedroia. Pedroia had hesitated around second and third to see if that ball was going to be caught. There's the contact by Ortiz right on the sweet spot of the bat. It finds itself off the wall right there at the 379. Now Dustin Gordon around second base. He's going to hesitate a little bit, not sure. And then when he sees it go off the wall, he's still able to score from first base. Butterfield waving him home, and the Red Sox take the lead. Aaron Hicks with a very good deke. He deked me out there. I thought he had it lined up. But Ortiz takes it off the wall. Red Sox score first when they do. 15 and 6 on the year. So David at second. Hanley Ramirez checks in. And fouls the first pitch back for strike one. Hanley at 255 with 12 homers and 27 runs batted in. 0 for 4 in last night's game. Fouled off to the right, and so far, the early indication today, the Red Sox have been much more aggressive at the plate. And two pitches to Hanley Ramirez, both fastballs swinging at both and fouling both off.
Hughes is going to throw strikes. I mean, he's only walked six batters on the season. Side for ball one, one and two, and just the second ball that he has thrown. No balls, two strikes, trying to go inside to get Ramirez, but just off the plate. Oh. On the ground, softly towards short, Danny Santana. Throws out Hanley Ramirez as David Ortiz takes third base with now two down in the inning. Well, following Red Sox postgame coverage tomorrow night, stay tuned for minor league baseball action. The Paw Sox visit the Rochester Red Wings. Tune in tomorrow night at 8. Two down, Ortiz at third base. Run in for the Red Sox. Here's Mike Napoli batting out of the number five spot. 210, eight homers and 22 runs batted in. Napoli takes strike one. His numbers against Hughes. A lot of good numbers for the Red Sox in this lineup. 333, a couple of home runs. You talked on about the numbers and it's a pretty good representation too because the Red Sox have face used a lot. There's that fastball inside that Napoli gets in front of and hits it hard but foul on that left field line. The Red Sox have had that key hit elude them for the most part. Got a key hit last night from Rusne Castillo, but for the most part, unable to get it done. And a chance here for Napoli with two outs and Ortiz at third base. Run already in here in the bottom of the first. Rusne with a big night last night, offensively and defensively. Strike three call. Napoli is frozen and the inning is over. Two strikeouts for Hughes. One nothing Boston after one. One to nothing. Red Sox have a lead over the Minnesota Twins as back on the hill. Eduardo Rodriguez in his second inning. 
in his first start here at Fenway Park. Kurt Suzuki, Eduardo Escobar, and Eduardo Nunez. Scheduled to bat here for Minnesota in the second. Suzuki riding a 230 batting average coming in. Two homers, 14 runs batted in. And catching the day game after the night game. No surprise there for Suzuki. You never know, he may catch the nightcap too. Likes to play every day. Pitch in there for a strike. Now that would be tough duty, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would. Catching the game one and game two of a day night doubleheader. We get a lot of baseball for you today, folks. Yes, we do. Fly ball center field. Mookie Betts had started in. Now waits on it, puts it away. Set it down to Gary Streisky, Gary. Guys, one guy who wasn't expecting to catch the night game and then the day game is Sandy Leon. Talked to him yesterday. He fully expected to get his work in today. He just thought he was catching that second game, though. John Farrell telling us before the game he likes the Rick Porcello, Blake Swihart tandem, so that's why he's going with that. So Sandy Leon catching Eduardo Rodriguez for the first time. I was talking to him, asking him, how do you make adjustments to a guy you haven't caught professionally yet? And he said pretty much he does such a good job concealing the ball until he releases it. That's pretty much the adjustment. And guys, since Rodriguez tickles the 95 mile an hour range with his fastball, I would imagine those adjustments happen pretty quick. I was a little surprised, Jerry, by that in that you would imagine that the veteran and Rick Porcillo could work with either guy. And you probably want to keep, at least I thought, Eduardo Rodriguez with the guy that he worked with last week. Yeah, uh, it, it is unusual, too, for a guy to catch a night game, then the first game of a day-night doubleheader. Yep. There's strike three, and that's three strikeouts for Rodriguez. Two down here in the inning. So fluid with his delivery, and uh, the ball just kind of explodes out of his hand. There's the fastball again to Suzuki, and, and the no contact on a ball that's slightly away from him. Oh, excuse me, Escobar, not Suzuki. Now two down here in the second inning for Eduardo Nunez, the former Yankee. Designated hitter today for the Twins. Hits it on the ground to Pedroia. And Eduardo Rodriguez is through his first two at Fenway without allowing a run. It's 1-0 Boston. In the 2015 eSurance MLB All-Star Game ballot at RedSox.com today. Make sure to vote early and often. As we head to the bottom of the second inning, Red Sox have a one-nothing lead. Brock Holt, Xander Bogarts, and Sandy Leon. Six, seven, and eight for the Red Sox here in the second inning. 
Grounder off the bat of Holt at Brian Dozier. Backed up on it, but makes the play on Holt. So one down in the second inning. Terry, you've always been looking for hobbies. Social hobbies. Let's see. Uh, well, I like to be in a band. You definitely well, need to find peace. I have to find peace, yeah. There's no doubt about that. I, taming lions, I don't think you'd fare well in. I think your days of writing books are over until uh, you've retired and then you're going to rip everybody. <laughs> Pitch is in there for a strike. Now, why would you say is that? Is that because I know you? No, that's not, that's <laughs> when not it's true. it's all no. done, you are going to rip absolutely everybody that you don't like. Absolutely not true. <laughs> this is line into left center field. Gets down over his Shane Robinson to pick it off. Bogart's got to throw the brakes on. And has a nice job out there by Shane Robinson, and it's a one-out base hit for Bogart. Yeah, that had two bases written all over it, but Shane Robinson really covering some ground out there in left field and got it back in quickly. Holds Bogarts to the single. Bogarts doing a nice job on the curveball right there, staying down on it, head down on contact, and uh, picks up the base hit. Find peace. I need to find peace. Yeah. But there'll be no more books. You're done? I'm done with books. There's no mountain. There's going to be no rock climbing. That's for sure. That's out of the question. <laughs> one out, one on for Leon. Lion taming? Not for you, probably. No. A band would be good, but I'm yeah. getting a little old for that. Although the Stones are still uh, doing yes. it, so I guess I'm young. Lead at first base for Bogarts, held on over there by Trevor Plouffe. There's a pop-up left side, sending Escobar and Santana back, and it'll be Escobar makes the catch in fair ground, right in behind third base, and Leon retired for the second out of the inning. No advance for Bogarts. A big night last night for Rusne Castillo. Able to come up with an RBI base hit to get the Red Sox on the board. The only run scored last night, only run they would need, and Aaron Hicks thought he had left the yard, but instead, Ruznik Castillo up against the wall out there to make the catch. So doing it both offensively and defensively last night for the Red Sox. Back in the lineup again today and back in right field again. You got Shane Victorino on the DL. You got Daniel Nava on the DL, and Ruzne getting a chance to play on a regular basis. Pitch crank foul off to the right out of play, and it's 0-2. Now today's suits designed by Joseph Abood, custom made in the USA from fine Italian fabrics, available at Men's Warehouse. And you're looking very sharp today. You have a brand new suit on. Thank you. I Tie, that. shirt, yeah. everything, everything brand new. New gear today from Joseph Abood. Uh, our new season suits have arrived. The 0-2 pitch. Is in there for strike three. Rusne Casillo strikes out looking. Three Ks for Hughes, a one nothing Red Sox lead.
Red Sox have the lead over the Twins as Aaron Hicks leads it off, takes strike one. Hicks robbed last night of a home run by Rusne Castillo, has one on the year. Two RBIs and a 250 average for Hicks. He has started now all 19 games since his recall on May the 12th. Then in center field, right field, and as a DH. Eduardo Rodriguez, three strikeouts through the first two innings. Two ground ball outs. He has walked a batter. Now coming away with that outing, not only the good stuff, Jerry, but the poise that he possessed in his major league debut. Yeah, I don't know what he was feeling inside down in Texas, but he showed no signs of being at all nervous uh, in his debut down in Texas. Swing and a foul tip held on to by Leon. Strikeout number four for Eduardo Rodriguez. Let's check in with Gary. Guys, the new Scion TC with today's poll question. Who has the advantage with a rookie pitcher on the mound? Is it Sox 1, the pitcher, or Sox 2, the batter? Text your answer to 536-536. Message and data rates. Those may apply. Text help if you need it. Visit Nesson.com slash terms for all that fun legal stuff. Guys, based off his last start in the first three innings, uh, got to go Sox 1. What do you think, Jerry? Well, I definitely the pitcher has the advantage. I mean, when you haven't seen him, nobody in this lineup has faced him before. With the exception of possibly in spring training. So I definitely, there's no question about the answer to that one. Danny Santana fouling it off and it's 0-2. Plus, I generally agree with everything Gary says. So if he says the advantage goes to the pitcher, I say it. Even though yesterday you told him that he is 12 that years is what old. I'm talking I, was, about. I was trying to think of a number and 12 came to mind. That's good. It's just 16 years off. No big deal. Santana <laughs> strikes deal. out. Five strikeouts for Rodriguez. Two down. Now the changeup, he's using that changeup quite a bit here in the first few innings and to success. A, ch a changeup should strike out Hicks. And that ball down in the dirt right there. I wasn't quite sure if it was a changeup, but it was at 87. So I'm going to put changeup on my scorecard. Well, seven in a row now retired by Rodriguez. And he starts off ahead again. Brian Dozier takes strike one. For Rodriguez in his first outing in the major leagues, seven strikeouts and seven and two thirds innings. And that's five strikeouts already through two and two thirds today. Season high with the Paw Sox was seven, did that on two occasions. Driven to left field down the line, and that ball is gone. A home run. So Brian Dozier goes down to get this, and it's his 10th home run of the year and ties the game one to one. That's the first Twins hit. Line drive home run. Now Dozier's got power, number 10 on the season. That time he gets a fastball down and in, and there you see the good solid contact by Dozier. Very little stride with that front foot. I stay level and right down the line. Hanley Ramirez was calling for that to be a foul ball, but there's no question it was in fair territory. It's only a 1 1 ball game. First run that Rodriguez is allowed in the majors. Second time through the order here for the Twins. We'll see what kind of adjustments they make against Eduardo Rodriguez. Shane Robinson walked against him first time through. Late swing, a protective swing, and it's fouled off. Well, one thing they already know about him just by looking at the numbers in the first start and seeing him one time around that he's going to throw strikes. He's going to be around the strike zone. And a swing and a miss. Back to striking people out. Strike shot Robinson. Six Ks, but mixed in a home run by Brian Dozier. Tied one to one.
moment all season long. Geico will highlight the 1975 Red Sox in honor of their 40th anniversary and their 53rd game of the 75 season. Red Sox beat the Royals 10 to 4. Rick Wise tossed a complete game for the win. A base hit to left field for Dustin Pedroia opens up this bottom of the third inning. Red Sox trying to answer a home run and a run by the Twins in the top half of the inning. Uh, we highlighted the success that Pedroia has had against Phil Hughes. And, you know, hitters know that, pitchers know that. And no matter what they try to do, it seems like that hitter makes good solid contact uh, almost every at bat. That time they come back inside a little bit with a fastball and Pedroia who fled one to right field in the first inning, or I should say hit a line drive to right field in the first inning. It's a line drive to left this time. 18th two-hit game of the year for Pedroia. He's at first. Second time in three innings. The Red Sox have had the lead runner on. There he goes as Bats fouls it off to the right out of play. Now, we've seen more of this uh, the last couple of days, and the Red Sox being more aggressive, playing some hit and run right there on the first pitch that time. They had Pedroia off, and... And Betts with the uh, swing on the fastball. There's the jump by Dustin looking back, and that indicates hit and run to me. But the ball fall fouled off by Moogie Betts. He yanked it down and away for ball one. That's a strikeout victim in the first inning, one of three so far. On the afternoon for Phil Hughes. For the first and diving back is Pedroia. Phil Hughes pretty big. It's six foot five, two hundred and fifty pounds. Runner goes again, a swing and a miss, and a little bit of interference there. And they are going to call him out and bring back Pedroia to first base on the interference by Mookie Betts. He stepped in front of the catcher Suzuki. At the end of that swing, he was right in the way. And the call right away from Mike Winters, home plate umpire. And they see Betts taking that the little crow hop step in front of the plate that interfered with Suzuki, so automatically Mookie Betts is out. And Pedroia has to go back to first base. You know, Don, I think the Red Sox are playing hit and run again right there. And that might be the first time in Red Sox history that the Red Sox have played hit and run twice with one batter. In the history of the Red Sox. <laughs> <laughs> so Pedroia back to first with one out. And David Ortiz gets his second look at Phil Hughes. So that tells me, Jerry, that they're doing anything they can to generate uh, offense right now. I, I agree, and they're, and they're doing it with the positions they can they can work with. You know, at the top of the order with Pedroia and Betts, down at the bottom of the order with Bogarts. I love it. It's much more exciting baseball, to say the least. As Ortiz waits here in an 0-1 pitch. David cranks it foul down the right field line. Well, head to DraftKings.com backslash Nesson for an opportunity to throw out the first pitch at a Red Sox game. That's DraftKings.com backslash Nesson to play for free. One out, one on. David Ortiz down on the count 0 and 2. Shift on in the infield in the third baseman. Eduardo Escobar way over towards second base. Fly ball left field. Shane Robinson going back onto the track. At the wall. Can't get it. It's off the wall. Pedroia headed for third. Will be stopped there on the double by David Ortiz. His second of the ball game. Now David using uh, the whole field so far. Center field the first time. And look at this. The pitch on the outside part of the plate. Goes with it. Friendly Fenway this time as it goes off that left field wall. Pedroia that time could not score from first base. You see him holding up. He thought the ball might be caught and he heads on to third base and they put the brakes on right there. 
13th two hit game of the year for David Ortiz who stands at second base second and third one out and chance here for Hanley Ramirez to do some damage and to put the Red Sox back on top again. Hanley takes strike one. He grounded out to the shortstop Danny Santana in the first inning. Infield playing back for the Minnesota Twins with two men in scoring position and the one out. Is that because of the time of the game? I believe so. And the only time, the only guy that you would did not go would be the pitcher. In the right field, a base hit for Hanley Ramirez. Pedroia will score, Ortiz will be stopped, and the Red Sox take it to one lead. Hanley Ramirez drives in the go-ahead run. Now this is really good hitting we're watching right now. We see Ortiz go to the opposite field off the wall. We see Hanley Ramirez find that hole between first and second to drive in the run. Of course, with Ortiz at second base, they have to hold him up. But two very, very good at bats. As a matter of fact, very good at bat by Pedroia also. So first and third with one out, a run in, and here is Mike Napoli. He struck out looking in the first inning, 0 for 1. Napoli will take ball one. And Napoli was really upset after that the strikeout back in the first inning. That pitch was way inside, and he was hot going down to first base. High fly ball. Medium depth right field as Torrey Hunter coming in. Makes the catch. No chance for Ortiz to try it. Ended up being too shallow in short right field. That's out number two. No advance for the runners. Fastball away that time. And Napoli gets underneath it. Certainly not deep enough for a run to score. As Torrey Hunter just glides in to make the catch. Takes a peek to third base, but he knew that was not deep enough for Ortiz to score. So two down, first and third. Brock Holt, the batter. Holt grounded out to Brian Dozier at second base. Back in the second inning, getting his second look here at Phil Hughes today. Big Poppy at third with Hanley Ramirez across the diamond at first. Red Sox have regained the lead here in the bottom of the third inning. Rolled over foul. Rockhold coming into last night's game as a defensive replacement for Hanley Ramirez in the one run game. He took over and left for the ninth inning of last night's game. Now sends a fly ball to center right at Aaron Hicks. That will end the inning. Red Sox do get a run in the inning and take a 2 1 lead to the fourth.
Two to one Red Sox now have the lead over the Minnesota Twins as we play into the fourth inning and another lead here for Eduardo Rodriguez. Red Sox had a one nothing lead now lead to 2-1. Trevor Plouffe leading it off in the fourth inning. Eduardo Rodriguez struck him out in the first inning and for Rodriguez six strikeouts through the first three innings. This Minnesota ball club a team that does strike out quite a bit. Center field Mookie Betts on the run goes back and gets there without a problem for the first out of the fourth inning. Batting 100 is no fun but getting 100 feels great especially when all you have to get is 100 bucks to open an Eastern free checking account. Learn more at easternbank.com slash free checking. I got a hundo in my pocket right now. I can open yeah. up an account. <laughs> By the end of the day, be worth a hundred and a dollar. You always seem to have a lot of hundos. What is it? Uh, you, you like having the hundo? Now, you know what it is? My wife gives me meal money. She gives. Uh, she goes to the back and they, they give me hundos. Yeah. And I don't know spend any money on the road. I use credit cards and she gets really upset. <laughs> you stash away those hundos for another day, huh? <laughs> One out in the fourth inning for Tory Hunter, grounded back to the mound in the first. See a pair of Red Sox games this summer with the 2015 Red Sox double play packs. Create your own package by selecting from a Yankees game and another summer day. Visit RedSox.com slash double play to get yours today. Off the foul off to the right out of play. Two one pitch on the ground foul outside of third. Center fielder Mookie bats over towards right center big gap out there in left center. And it's ripped again foul outside of third. I remind you not to miss WB Mason extra innings live right after game one today. Tom Karen and Tim Wakefield will have highlights. You'll hear from Eduardo Rodriguez and John Farrell. Whatever, whenever, wherever. Who but WB Mason? Hunter reaches out and it's knocked down by Napoli over to cover Rodriguez and he will be in time. Nice play. As Napoli stayed with it after knocking it down and credit Eduardo Rodriguez for getting over there in a hurry to get Torrey Hunter doesn't run as well as he once did and we'll see here if they're going to challenge this or not it was close. Well Torrey Hunter wants a challenge we'll see there's a knockdown right there by Napoli and a very close play at first base we'll see what Paul Molitor does but now Hunch is leaving the field so apparently they're going to let the call stand. Looks like he might have got the corner to that bag just before Torrey got there. So two down here in the fourth inning. No challenge from Paul Molitor. And here is Kurt Suzuki. Suzuki flying out to the center fielder Mookie Betts in the second inning 0 for 1. Whoa. 
Membership has its privileges. Learn how you can join the most exclusive sports membership in Boston as a Red Sox season ticket holder. Email new season tickets at RedSox.com or visit RedSox.com slash season tickets today for more information. Fly ball to shallow right field. Out goes Pedroia, and Dustin will get there right in front of Ruzne Castillo, who is coming in. It's a 1 2 3 fourth, a 2 1 Red Sox lead. A hundred bucks just open an Eastern free checking account in the month of June and you'll get a hundred bucks. Learn more at easternbank.com slash free checking. Now the Red Sox and Minnesota Twins playing the makeup game for Monday night today. Play a night game tonight, the regularly, regularly scheduled night game. Day night doubleheader from Fenway. Red Sox have a 2 1 lead as they come to bat in the bottom of the fourth inning, bottom third of the Red Sox order. Bogarts, Leon, and Castillo. Line to right, and a base hit for Xander Bogarts, who's now two for two. I got, I'll tell you, I love the approach the Red Sox hitters are taking so far in this game today. I mean, they're using the whole ballpark, going to the opposite field. Bogarts gets the fastball away, takes it away. Now, last night they played hit and run with this combination of Leon and Bogarts at first place. Let's see if they do it again in this at bat. 13th two hit game for Xander Bogarts on the season. Red Sox have had the lead runner on now three times in four innings. Previous two times that runner has scored as they check on Bogarts at first. Three for three in that category so far in the year for Xander. On by Leon and out to get it Suzuki. That's throw the first and up the second base goes Bogarts a sacrifice for Leon. Third sacrifice bunt of the year for Cindy Leon. Nice job two squares around early gets it down that third base side it, it, it drops out of the air quickly and Bogarts gets in a scoring position at second base. So uh, we are seeing some different things from this Red Sox offense. One out Bogarts in scoring position. Here comes Ruzne Castillo. Struck out looking in the second inning. 0 for 1. And as of jumping back.
On the ground foul over by the Twins dugout. So stay tuned following WB Mason X Trainings Live, a Red Sox final presented by Uno's. TC and Tim Wakefield will take a look at the Red Sox options for the upcoming MLB draft. Red Sox with a 2 1 lead, batting here in the bottom of the fourth inning, and Phil Hughes wants to see the signs over again. In there for a strike, and it's one and two. See Dozier at second base. He, he's holding Bogots very close. So the time to steal third is with one out and trying to get there before two are out. And you can see Dozier right there trying to protect against that at second base by holding Bogots very close. Strike three call. Castillo frozen as he watches it and becomes the fourth strikeout victim for Hughes. Second time. Castillo is down by way of the K. Now that, that's similar to the pitch right there that they called Napoli out early in the game. It's not a strike. It's a cut fastball right there that stays uh, inside. You can see Suzuki move it to the inside corner. And Castillo just stand there in disbelief. So two down. Bogarts at second base and a chance here for Pedroia already. Two for two in this game. As he takes strike one. Single to right in the first and scored. Single to left in the third and scored. Foul off to the right out of play. And you see the different lead that Bogots has at second base uh, when there are two outs. He'll go behind the bag, and the reason he does that, he'll go about, I'd say, three or four steps behind the bag to take his lead, and that's so the cut around third base becomes a little bit easier. He's got a better angle on it. He's not thinking about stealing right now. He's thinking about getting a good cut around third base on a base hit. On the ground, foul. Two runs, seven hits, no errors for Boston. A run, a hit, no errors for the Twins. Low scoring, tight game so far in this series between the Red Sox and the Twins. Well pitched. Dustin against Hughes now. The two hits today, hitting at 375 against Hughes. Protecting the plate that time and fouling it off to the right. They use it trying to stay away too. That's what he did in his first at bat. He stayed away with a breaking ball and Pedroia took him to the opposite field for a base hit. That time it was the fastball the way that he fouls off. In the dirt, Suzuki blocks it. Throwing 83% strikes. And he is as usual, right around the strike zone as Pedroia lines it into right center field. Around from second base comes Xander Bogart's third hit of the day for Pedroia, and he supplies the Red Sox with their third run of the day. It's three to one Boston, a big two out RBI single for Dustin Pedroia. Now, Hughes has got to be saying, you know, what do I possibly throw him to get him out? He can't get him out inside because Pedroia pulls it. He tries to go away and Pedroia goes to the opposite field. That's twice today. Once on a curveball and once on a fastball. A big two out base hit for Dustin. 
Yeah, Pedroia at first base driving in that run. It is the third time in this game. The leadoff hitter for the Red Sox has reached base and scored. One oh to Mookie Betts. That's in there for a strike. One and one. So a run in the first inning for the Red Sox, a run in the third, now run here in the fourth. Hughes gave up four runs in his first outing against Boston at Target Field. He wanted that pitch close, but called a ball. See if Pedroia takes off here on the 2 1 count. Here's a replay of that last pitch, just missing. A little stutter step to get back to the bag at first for Pedroia. The reason I call for the steal here is because if he's out, well, they got Mookie hitting in front of David next inning. If he's safe, obviously he's in scoring position. Foul behind the Red Sox dugout. Side and now a full count. Hughes has not walked anybody yet today. First full count of the day for Phil Hughes. Inside for ball four, and there is the first walk of the day given up by Hughes. That's very unusual there too, especially with Ortiz coming to the plate. Don. Hey Fenway fans, add a new treat to your lineup with the new Hood Red Sox Caramel Sunday Cone. It's a whole new ball game. I like that how you introduce me now. I, well, it's kind of like Edmund Man and Johnny Carson. Yeah. You know. I like that. I like to be introduced every night. <laughs> Come down the stairs. That's the way you should yeah. make your entrance every night. <laughs> This is lined up the middle with the shift on and right there is Santana who spins and fires to get Ortiz Ortiz with a hot shot. We got nothing to show for it. Red Sox get a run take a 3 1 lead.
Eduardo Escobar leading it off here in the fifth inning now. The Red Sox on top by two, three to one for Eduardo Rodriguez. As Escobar fouls it back to the screen, evens it one and one. Sun poking through the clouds now, and the lights are on here at Fenway Park today. Play the day portion, the day night doubleheader. Another foul by Escobar. Started uh, under completely cloud covered Fenway, but starting to break up now a little bit. Fans from Savannah, Georgia. That's shallow and over towards right center field here on Escobar. Who takes strike three. Well, Eduardo Rodriguez with seven punch outs in his first time. He's got seven today. And second time that he has got Escobar on the fastball today for strikeouts. That went knee high. Nothing to argue there. Just be upset at yourself for not swinging. One down in the fifth inning. Eduardo Nunez now bats. Grounded out to the second baseman, Dustin Pedroia, in the second inning and takes strike one. Down and in, and Nunez swinging through it again, 0 and 2. Very good slide down around the ankles that time. Very difficult pitch to hit, kind of a blind spot right there for a right handed hitter. Line to left and over to make the catch of the backhand, Hanley Ramirez. Sharply hit, hung up long enough for Ramirez to run it down for the second out of the fifth. Yeah, good, solid contact on the breaking ball that time. It stayed a little bit higher. Now watch Hanley get a pretty good jump on this ball and able to make the play on the line drive. Six in a row retired by Rodriguez. Two down here in the fifth inning for Aaron Hicks. Hicks struck out swinging in the third inning. To right field and shallow, Ruzne Castillo running in to make the catch. A 1 2 3 fifth, it's 3 1 Boston.
Southwest Airlines. Book your low fare now at southwest.com. And on to the bottom of the fifth inning, and so far so good for Eduardo Rodriguez. He's now retired the last seven Minnesota Twins in a row. Giving up just the one hit, the home run by Dozier. He's walked a batter seven strikeouts for the first five innings. And the Ramirez today, one for two, with an RBI single in the third inning. And now lines one to center, and that's going to get in for a base hit. Second hit of the day for Hanley. Now, when you think about the breaking balls to Hanley Ramirez, most of them have been away from him or off the plate. That time, the curveball just hung out over the plate, and Ramirez with good, solid contact. Don? Ace Ticket, the official Red Sox ticket partner, has the best seats at the lowest prices to all the games at Fenway. All with a 200% guarantee. Right now, Ace Ticket has special savings on all Red Sox games, including the Yankees. Visit Ace Ticket or call 1-800-MY-SEATS. Napoli has struck out looking and fly to right. Ramirez held on at first by Trevor Plouffe. Twins are in double play depth here. Nobody out, a runner at first. And a pop up in the infield. Plouffe from first base coming down from second. It's Dozier, and it's Dozier who makes the catch on the infield grass for out number one. Toyo Tires, the official tire of the Boston Red Sox. Whether you're taking your truck off road, the kids to practice, or your sports car to its limits, there's a Toyo Tire for you. Visit ToyoTires.com to find a dealer near you. One on, one out for Brock Holt. Holt for two today. He's grounded out to second, lined out to center. Gaines is lead at first as Hughes works out of the stretch here. Bouncing in for ball one. Again, you got one of those guys up that you could play hit and run with and Brock Holt, a good guy that makes good contact. Scratch that down at the count is one and two. You all right? I think so. <clears throat> yeah. Choking at that? Yeah. With water. Water? water? Yeah. It was not good. Went down the wrong way. <laughs> we all right, though. <laughs> take it easy. Take, take right. it easy. Take uh, it easy. I'm okay. We, we need to go get a long day. I know. A lot more baseball to go here. Ball and two strikes to Brock Holt. That's up and away. Two and two. Single by Hanley Ramirez began the inning. Then Mike Napoli popped out to second base. One out, one on, and Holt batting now. Bogarts waiting on deck. Close pitch. Hughes wanted it. Kind of surrounded the plate, and it's a full count now. You know, we're talking hit run earlier in this at bat, and uh, I said scratch it when it's one and two. The reason for that is you don't want to, the hitter, obviously, at the plate swinging at a bad pitch with two strikes on him. It's always usually in hitters' counts that you see that play put on. Fouled off and out of play. Pitch count rising here for Hughes, working in the fifth inning with one out. It is counts, one ball, no strike, one and one, two and one, three and one, forget it. You let him go for the downs. Up 
Hunter goes and a liner to left field for a base hit for Brock Holt. Stopping at second is Hanley Ramirez, and Holt has his first hit of the day. Yeah, really, really nice approach by Red Sox hitters today. Now, Brock Holt's got a two strikes on him, so you're going to cut your swing down a little bit. You can see him going to the opposite field right there again on the fastball from Hughes. We've seen some very, very nice at bats today by Red Sox hitters. Not trying to do too much with that pitch. The ball's away. It's a nasty pitch. Take it to the opposite field and hope for the best. Two on, one away, and it brings up Xander Bogarts. Already two for two on the day. Red Sox now put together ten hits. Bogarts fouls the first pitch back. Action for the first time for the Twins about to start here. As Ryan Presley, right-hander up in the pen. Sun now out, shining brightly in Fenway Park. Close pitch. Hughes no doubt wanted that. Mike Winter is calling the balls and strikes today in game one of this day nighter. Runners go. Pitch is low and the throw down is going to be close. Not in time. Hanley comes off the bag but stays with the foot on the bag as he kind of fell forward. Never did lose contact with the bag and a double steal for the Red Sox. Uh, shake me, Don. Shake me. Am I, are we watching the Red Sox? This is Red Sox baseball, right? It is. It's it's the new Red Sox baseball. Uh, Hanley's done this a couple of times where he has surprised people by trying to steal a base, and he's been successful on a few of them. That's the third steal of the season for Hanley Ramirez. It's in-your-face aggressive baseball, Jerry. <laughs> Infield in now with one out. Pitch call the ball. Two and one the count. Bogarts will take another ball and is ahead three and one. John Henry probably enjoying this style of baseball here today so far. Red Sox with a 3 1 lead, getting great pitching and looking for a timely hit right now. Red Sox will probably play contact with one out and that man at third base. Bogarts drives it into center field for a base hit. Ramirez will score. Here comes Brock Holt. Two more Red Sox runs are in. Boston takes a 5 1 lead. Third hit of the day for Xander Bogarts. Well, you know, this all makes sense because Phil Hughes came into the game with six walks on the season. You know he's going to be throwing strikes, and the Red Sox hitters have been very aggressive against the strike thrower today. Two men in scoring position, infield in, up the middle by Bogarts, and that's going to be the afternoon, it looks like, for Hughes. Fifth three-hit game for Xander Bogarts. Red Sox have taken a 5-1 lead. Paul Molitor to the mound here. As Phil Hughes will leave this game on the hook and Red Sox with the 5-1 lead Presley on his way in.
day for Phil Hughes after going four and a third innings as he departs. And now is just a spectator. The pitching line brought to you by Lexus for Phil Hughes. Four and a third, 11 hits, five runs so far, walking four Ks. Responsible for Xander Bogarts at first base. I say keep the pressure on, hit and run. Sandy Leon swings away and hits a fly ball to left center field. Aaron Hicks puts it away for the second out. Now tonight at 5:30, don't miss Nesson live with Adam Pellerin and L. Duncan. We have complete Red Sox coverage live from Fenway, and Wes Welker compares playing with Tom Brady and Peyton Manning. Nesson live is coming up tonight at 5:30. Well, the first out here for Ryan Presley, his 14th appearance of the year. Three and one with a 3.29 earned run average, 14 strikeouts, six walks, and opponents hitting a 200 against Presley. And a swing and a miss at a pitch down and away to Rusne Castillo. More action for the Twins. Brian Dunsing up in the pen. Castillo down 0 and 2. Rusne had trouble with Phil Hughes today, striking out against him twice and both times looking. Sun comes out, sunglasses come out also. On the ground is short. Danny Santana will go to second for the fourth out that ends the inning. Red Sox tack on two more, take a 5 1 lead. Five to one Red Sox have the lead as back to the hill is Eduardo Rodriguez for the sixth inning. He's retired the last seven Minnesota Twins that he's faced in the game. Seven strikeouts through the first five. And Danny Santana hits a ground ball to deep shortstop. Bogart's up into the air with a throw, and it will not be in time. A good bid by Xander. But too much speed for Danny Santana down the line at first. He will reach. That's as good as you can make it if you're Rosanda Bogarts at shortstop right there. The back end on the grass, the jump throw to first base, all the way in the air. But Don, as you mentioned, too much speed from Danny Santana. Very good speed, and he beats it out of first base. So, lead runner on here for the Twins. Only their second hit of the day after a home run by Dozier back in the third inning. Here is Brian Dozier. 
So a shot his 10th home run. Turned out to be a nice day here at Fenway Park. Lots of sunshine now. Dozier will take the strike over the outside corner. Yeah, very good change up right there. One ball, no strikes. You're expecting a fastball. He does not get it. He gets the change up away. Gets away from Leon and Santana moves up into scoring position and the second base. Back to back change ups this time he bounces it and it gets by Leon. Tried to double up on the change but this time you can see it uh, actually a ball that could have been blocked by Sandy Leon. He tried to backhand that ball and it gets by him. Leon knows he made a mistake there by not trying to block it. His 10th home run of the year back in the third inning. Only blemish so far on Eduardo Rodriguez in this game. My drive just inside the pole. And ball four down to first base goes Dozier. So there's the second walk given up by Rodriguez. It's time for a game break brought to you by Jordan's, the furniture store of the Boston Red Sox. Tom? All right, Tom, thanks very much. Back here at Fenway, where the Red Sox have a 5 1 lead here in game one of the day night doubleheader. The Twins making some noise here. The first two have reached in the sixth inning against Rodriguez. And here is Shane Robinson. He has walked and struck out swinging. Ninety three on the fastball, and it's fouled back. Santana single got the second on a wild pitch. Brian Dozier walks. Is anything different in the approach today for Eduardo Rodriguez than he saw in the first game he pitched? No, the only difference was on the last pitch that he made to uh, Dozier. To walk him, his front shoulder came flying open. Other than that, everything else looks to be the same to me. I think, I think he might be mixing in a few more change-ups uh, than he had than he did in the uh, first uh, game against Texas. That was the last pitch to Dozier, and that's one of the few times that uh, that front shoulder has come flying open too soon. Robinson fouls it off. That last foul ball looked like you get to the hamstring area there of uh, Torrey Hunter in the Twins dugout and into the gated area over there and getting Torrey Hunter who had been on the bottom step. Stretching it out now. No two again to Shane Robinson. Fouled off to the right out of play. Robinson now Trevor Plouffe waiting on deck as the twins bat here in the top of the sixth inning. Red Sox just getting two in the bottom of the fifth take a 5 1 lead Red Sox banging out 11 hits so far today. 
Robinson fouls that off, biting in on him. The Red Sox had a play on there, too. They had Napoli going toward first base. They were going to try to pick off the trail runner in Doja. Napoli going towards first base, as you can see uh, right here, and Leon coming up to throw, but the ball was fouled off. That was a tough pitch. He fouled off, too. Yes. <laughs> wow. I mean, how did he do that? Line foul just outside the line. A slider inside and hooked. Foul by Robinson. Well, making Rodriguez work in this inning as Robinson will see an eighth pitch. First two have reached. The line for Rodriguez brought to you by Ace Ticket. One run so far, two walks, seven Ks. 81st pitch. And it is fouled off the mask of Sandy Leone. Well, that got him good too, Sandy Leone behind the plate. They wanted to elevate the fastball that came inside, and then that foul ball right off the bottom of the mask of Leon. Eight straight foul balls here for Shane Robinson. Trailing 0 and 2 in the count. Ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. And it's very high, one and two. Low for ball two, two and two. Change up that time trying to induce a ground ball for a double play. Foul off to the right again. Twelfth pitch coming up at this at bat for Rodriguez. And building up the pitch count very quickly here and just just one at bat. Came into the inning having thrown 66 pitches through the first five. Robinson saw 10 pitches combined in his first two at bats. Here is pitch 12 of this at bat. And a fly ball to shallow left. Hanley Ramirez coming in. And he'll make the catch for the first out of the inning. For every strikeout by a Red Sox pitcher at Fenway Park in June, Edna will donate $250 to the Boston Health Center for the homeless program. Through their continued efforts in the local community, Edna is helping to build a healthier world. One city and one strikeout at a time. First AL left-handed pitcher with seven plus K's in his first two starts of his major league career. Got to go back to 1987 and Al Leiter. And he did it with the New York Yankees. So one out, Trevor Plouffe, the batter. And a foul ball. Plouffe over two. He is struck out swinging and flying out to center field. Santana at second, Dozier at first with one out in the Twins' sixth inning. And by far the hardest that Eduardo Rodriguez has had to work in any inning. And that may be in any inning so far in the major leagues. I'm trying to think of any innings that he may have had in Texas. Nothing this taxing. 
For every Red Sox game that goes into extra innings or the Sox get a save, CBS Pharmacy will make a donation to Children's Hospital towards a $25,000 commitment once again this season. CBS Pharmacy, the official pharmacy of the Boston Red Sox. 0-2 pitch to Trevor Plouffe. That's fouled back. Good test right here for Rodriguez. You know, you, you mentioned it, Don, and Texas really not much problem at all. A little trouble here in the sixth inning. Couple of base runners, one out. Got to battle through the middle of this lineup right now. Plouffe lines one down the left field line that'll go foul. You know, he throws that slider down around the ankles of those right-handed hitters, and it's a very tough pitch if you make contact to keep it fair. As long as you keep it down in that area and they make contact, it's probably going to go foul. You elevate that a little bit, probably goes out of the ballpark. Now this season's pitch arsenal so far and today 62 percent fastballs. A lot more change ups. For Rodriguez in his second major league outing. And a ground ball right side Pedroia will go to second for one to first and it's not in time. Bluff able to beat it out. They do get the middleman and Brian Dozier at second base on the force out two down. Yeah just not hit hard enough to turn the double play. Both guys Pedroia Bogots doing their job doing it correctly. But it was just not hit hard enough to to complete the two. You see uh, Pedroia going to his left. Bogots coming across the back nicely but uh, Plouffe is able to beat it out. Bogot's clearing himself for that runner, but still coming across the bag hard. I like it. First and third now, two down, and Torrey Hunter, the batter. You know, swing and a miss. Kind of tied him up, up and in. Action for the first time in the Red Sox pen. Alexia Gondo just up. And a taxing inning here on Eduardo Rodriguez. Inside, one and one. It's been a 26 pitch inning to this point by Rodriguez. On the ground, a shortstop. Bogart's going to go to second for the out that ends the inning. So, as taxing as it was, Rodriguez gets out of it unscathed.
over as he ends up throwing a total of 93 pitches. And six innings of work as a 5 1 lead as Pedroia fouls it off to the right. Time now for today's T Mobile game changer performance and Dustin Pedroia with a three hit day today. Now Pedroia using the whole field in this ballpark today to pick up uh, three hits. On the ground, a third nicely picked by Escobar to his left, and the throw gets Pedroia. There's the three hits I was talking about in the game changer here. T Mobile, the base hit to the opposite field on a breaking ball. He pulls a fastball and then takes another one right up the middle for a base hit. So, and hit that last ball very hard to third base. That's four quality at bats for Dustin Pedroia this afternoon. One down here in the sixth inning brings up Mookie Betts. Betts does not have a hit today. He has struck out and involved in an interference play with the catcher and walked in the fourth inning. Look out, coming inside again, 2 0. Oh. Off speed pitch that time, uh, slipping out of the hand of Presley. Wanted to throw the slider, but it did not slide, just spinning up to home plate. Foul back, 2 and 1. Stanley, the official tools of the Boston Red Sox, when you demand performance in action on the job site. One out here in the sixth inning, Mookie Betts ahead two and one. Even now, two and two. Phil Hughes today goes four and a third, gives up 11 hits and five runs. He walked a batter and struck out four. He is on the hook right now for the Twins. Came in at four and four individually into his 11th start of the year. Red Sox getting to him for a run in the first, a run in the third, a run in the fourth, and two in the fifth. Now bat here with the bases empty, one out in the sixth inning. Woo! Brian Dunsing had been up earlier. He is still up in the pen. He's been joined now by Michael Tonkin. Presley getting the final two outs of the fifth as the first out of the sixth inning. And a fly ball now headed to right field and Torrey Hunter as well as Aaron Hicks. It'll be Hicks steps in front of Hunter for the second out of the sixth inning. Tonight after our Red Sox postgame coverage on Nesson Sports Today, Adam Powerin and Al Duncan will have the latest on the Celtics pre-draft workouts and hear from Patriots linebacker Rob Ninkovich. That's tonight on Nesson Sports Today, presented by People's United Bank. See what know-how can do. Two outs in the sixth inning for Big Poppy David Ortiz. Doubled in the first, doubled in the third inning. Maybe the ball that he hit the hardest. He grounded out to the shortstop Danny Santana on a hot shot, but Santana was positioned perfectly in the shift. Good hard breaking ball, good hard slider right there by Presley. Busting Ortiz down and in. Now 
outside for ball two, two and one. And the Ramirez on deck, two outs, bases empty for the Red Sox here in their half of the sixth inning. Day game of the day night doubleheader between the Red Sox and the Twins. Day portion, the makeup game from Monday night. Swing and a miss. Even a two and two. And breaking ball again. That time was a little bit higher, but no contact by Ortiz. See the spin on that curveball, a hard curveball breaking down and in. Ortiz grounds into the shift again. Santana from the right side throws out Big Poppy and down in order are the Red Sox in the sixth on top 5-1. He's back out on the mound again. It looked as if John Farrell had congratulated him on the day, but perhaps just congratulating him on getting through that sixth inning is he runs Rodriguez back out there again. Alexia Gondo continues to warm as this seventh inning begins. And Suzuki may have gone. They check. He did, says Ben May, first base umpire. Well, what's going to happen here, Don? If there's a base runner, he'll probably come out of the ball game. Or if he gets into a situation where he's throwing a lot of pitches in this inning, he'll come out of the ball game. They want to keep him, I think, right around that 100 pitch limit. He's got 95 right now. Fly ball to right field. Ruzne Castillo in the sun field. Out there makes the catch. All right, now you can get up to 60 months with no interest on anything at Jordan's Furniture. Furnish one room or your entire home. Best of all, you'll get to enjoy it now. Visit Jordans.com for details. One out in the seventh inning, and it brings up Eduardo Escobar, who struck out twice today against uh, Eduardo Rodriguez. Escobar striking out, swinging in the second, then looking in the fifth. I'll bounce in and get the home plate umpire. Hold off to the right out of play.
Pitch number 100 will miss outside. Fly ball right center field Mookie Betts and Rusne Castillo and it's Castillo makes the catch for the second out. He's handled the first two outs of this seventh inning. Are you looking for ways to entertain employees or clients? Take them out for a night at Fenway Park to watch your beloved Red Sox. Visit RedSox.com slash groups for more information. Now two outs here in the seventh inning for Rodriguez and it brings up Eduardo Nunez. He is grounded out to second and lined out to left. And he is 27 years old. Broke into the big leagues in 2010 with the Yankees. He lines one to left. Hanley Ramirez over to make the running catch. A 1 2 3 seventh inning for Eduardo Rodriguez. Seventh inning stretch 5 1 Boston. Southwest Airlines. Book your low fare now at southwest.com. Five to one. Red Sox have the lead over the Minnesota Twins. And outstanding effort. Seven innings from Eduardo Rodriguez. 103 pitches. Clay Buckholz outstanding last night. And Eduardo Rodriguez has followed up the effort last night by Clay. Well, very impressive again today was Rodriguez. I mean, you know, this kid comes into two games at the major league level, no fear, mixes up his pitches. I thought he threw a little more change ups in the game today than he has he did in his first start today uh, of this of the year. A lot of sliders, got out of a jam. Very, very impressive. Get immediate care without leaving the ballpark at the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center first aid station behind section 12 on the lower concourse. BIDMC is the official hospital of the Boston Red Sox. So to the bottom of the seventh inning we go and Hanley Ramirez leading it off here for Boston. Twins have their third pitcher of the day on. And it's strike one to Ramirez from Michael Tonkin. 12th appearance without a record of 5.14 earned run average. Seven strikeouts, two walks. Opponents hitting at 286 against Tonkin. Ground it back to him, and he will run a bit. Flip underhanded for the first out of the inning. Have a son or daughter who wants to learn more about baseball or their favorite Red Sox players? Visit RedSoxClubhouse.com. There's videos, games, and a whole lot more. It's fun, free, and easy to use. Visit NessonClubhouse.com. One down in the seventh inning for Mike Napoli. 
0 for 3 in the ball game for Napoli. They struck out looking in the first inning, fly to right in the third, and then popped out to second base in the fifth. Ryan Presley, the middleman of the three arms used today by Paul Molitor, went an inning and two thirds and was able to retire everybody that he faced. Nice job out of the pen for Phil Hughes. Hughes on the hook for this game. Went four and a third, giving up five runs on 11 hits. And Hughes individually came in at four and four into his 11th start of the year. High drive to deep left field for Mike Napoli. Back goes Robinson looking up, and it is gone. Back of the monster seats for Mike Napoli, his ninth home run of the year, and the Red Sox take a 6 1 lead. Well, the Red Sox in this game one have uh, done everything right. They've pitched well. They've hit with men in scoring position. They've had two out base hits. Now they have a home run with Napoli. Very impressive. This afternoon that ball down and in on Napoli and hits a high home run into the monster seats. Now Brock Hole with one out and the base is empty. Alltown, New England's premier convenience retailer, is committed to supporting the communities they serve. For every home run the Red Sox hit the rest of the year, Alltown will donate $500 to the Cystic Fibrosis Multiple Sclerosis Fund. Visit Alltown.com for a location near you. Napoli puts the Red Sox on top, six to one, out hitting Minnesota, 12 to two. As Brock Holt takes a pitch, it runs outside. Well, taking on the 3 0 and down to first base with a four pitch walk. Well, we'll take a look at the home run from uh, the monster seats. There it is. He's pointing over there. There it goes. And they know where the camera is, too, right? They look yeah. at where the camera was right behind him. Holt at first, held on by Trevor Plouffe with one out. Xander Bogarts. He's had a three hit afternoon. Single to left in the second, single to right in the fourth, single to center in the fifth. So he's used all fields here. And driven in two runs, now 19 RBIs on the season. Time Brock Holt increased his lead by about a half a step over there at first base. On the ground left side Santana deep short they hit the out at second base and going in hard was Holt. Well, they do get the force out of Holt two down as Bogarts reaches it first. Well, later tonight at six don't miss Red Sox first pitch presented by Joseph Abood available at men's warehouse. TC and Tim Wakefield will preview game two of our D night doubleheader here at Fenway Park. Hey why not Tim Wakefield right I mean he could pitch. Both ends of a double header. Right. Why not do two uh, pregame and postgame shows? That's exactly right. I mean, if there's, there's a guy that can do it, it's Tim Wakefield. Sandy Leon, the batter, first to check on Bogarts, back to the bag at first.
Runner goes. Pitch is a strike, and the throw is going to be late into the shortstop side on a hop. Xander Bogart steals second base. Bogart's number four on the season has not been caught. Very good jump. You can see that leg kick by uh, the pitcher Tonkin. It, it, he really brings it behind the rubber quite slowly, and that gives that runner at first base a great opportunity to get a good jump. On a strike here to Leon. That's in there for strike two. Leon has popped out to third, had a sacrifice bunt back in the fourth inning, and then fly out to center field in the fifth. Fly ball center field. Aaron Hicks now coming into right center. Makes the catch at ends the inning. Red Sox get a run on the home run by Napoli and lead it six to one. Double steal set up here for the Red Sox, setting the table for Xander Bogarts. As it was Holt and Ramirez able to get that double steal, and then Xander Bogarts with a two run single to center field. RBIs 18 and 19 at the time. Red Sox took a 5 1 lead, opened it up a little bit. Red Sox have added another run since on the home run by Mike Napoli, and it's 6 to 1 Boston. Out hitting the Twins 12 to 2 as we play on to the eighth inning. And Alexia Gondo's first pitch is inside to Aaron Hicks. So Gondo had been warming up for the last two innings into his 21st game of the year. 1 0, the 3.66 ERA, 16 strikeouts, five walks, and opponents hitting at 230 against a Gondo. So Rodriguez, who gave up no runs in his first effort, Goes seven innings in his second effort and gives up two hits and only one run. The home run by Brian Dozier. He walked two and for the second straight outing struck out seven batters. And there appears to me very little question as to whether or not he's going back to Pawtucket after this outing again today. Don. <laughs> he should forget where Rhode Island even is. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, yes. I mean, I'm not running the show around here. But no, you're you're not in charge, but he looked pretty good. Yeah, I, today. I think he deserves to stay. One two pitch is up high. 
Someone should get him a T-shirt. You know the I'm the Ace T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down now. It's, it's pretty it's, good. Take it pretty slow. Good. Take it slow. Take it slow. Two two pitch coming up here to Hicks. And a liner up and over the outstretched glove of Pedroia. And the right field as Aaron Hicks on with a single to begin things here in the eighth. Now for the first time today, Hicks switch, switching around to the left side of the plate and has that line drive up over the head of Dustin Pedroia for the base hit. Lead off hit here in the eighth inning. Look at that unique swing where he prompts the bat down and gets it back up into the uh, shoulder position. And there's Pedroia going as high as he can, but not able to make the play. Lead runner on here for the Twins in the eighth inning. Now Danny Santana will take strike one. Santana struck out in the third, singled in the sixth inning. Fly ball down the left field line out of play. Well, tonight at 6.30, it's a second serving of Red Sox Game Day Live presented by DCU. Red Sox GM Ben Charrington will join Tom Karen live on Yawkey Way. DCU, Digital Federal Credit Union. What can DCU save you? No two pitch to Danny Santana. And it's on the ground towards shortstop. Bogarts will go to second for one to first, not close. So they do get the lead runner in Hicks. That Santana will reach on a fielder's choice. That's frustrating for middle infielders because, you know, you love turning over double plays, but they have not had one that uh, has been hit hard enough to do so. That ball not hit hard. And there's the underhand flip. Pedroia still tries to turn it over, but really had no chance at first base. Bogart's playing it right. You know, make sure you get that one and let the second baseman try to complete the play. One out. Santana at first and Brian Dozier, the batter. Dozier has struck out. Homer with a solo shot into the monster seats back in the third inning. Only blemish for Eduardo Rodriguez today. And Dozier walked in the sixth inning. What, what is all this stuff floating around? No, no. Is this February again? I, I can tell you this. It's not good for my allergies. I mean, it looks like February. Remember when it was snowing like every other day? Yes. <laughs> Gary, what do you got on this? You guys, my timeline has been filling up with people thinking it's snowing, so... Obviously, I wanted to know what the heck this stuff is, too. And uh, my meteorologist friends here in Boston tell me cottonwood trees start letting their seeds off this time of year. So uh, these are tree seeds floating around Fenway Park. I was never a meteorologist, but, uh, yeah, I found that out today. Wait, 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 wait. There you go. Yeah. Wait, did you say pine trees? Cottonwood trees and some other sort of tree that I can't pronounce slash remember. Either way, it's like tree seeds. Yeah. That's, it's not good. Well, I'm allergic to trees. Yeah, I'm That's allergic to the problem. I'm allergic to everything. I'm allergic to New England when I come up here from spring training. 2-2 <laughs> two -two pitch is just off the outside edge framed by Leon. Extra second there for Mike Winters who didn't go up with the arm. Shane Robinson waiting on deck as Dozier. Actually that's Eddie Rosario has come out on deck to pinch hit for Shane Robinson. Line to left and in for a base hit for Dozier. And a little bobble out there for Hanley heading to third base and getting there with a head first slide is Santana. So Hanley a little trouble out there and left. Hanley will pick up his third error of the se season on this. Just a routine line drive out there. One hop that uh, he doesn't get down on. And then the uh, shortstop style throw to third base is not going to be in time. What do you call it? A work in progress? Yes. They're going to have a different pinch hitter come up here as Joe Maurer comes up. Rosario had been on deck. So Maurer at 275, a home run, 30 runs batted in, likely in the 
nightcap of the day night doubleheader but now into the game here in the day part pinch hitting for Shane Robinson the left fielder. Now our take strike one. Five game hitting streak coming into this pinch hitting appearance here in the eighth inning with two on and one away. Twins have more action in the pen as Tim Stoffer is up in the pen. Already seen Presley and Tonkin in relief of Phil Hughes. Santana at third, Dozier across the diamond at first. Mauer takes strike two. Once again, they have that shift on Mauer in the outfield, completely playing him toward left field. Pretty much straight up in the infield. On the ground to first base, Napoli tags first, second base becomes a tag play, and it's applied. So a double play that ends the top of the eighth inning. Red Sox have a 6 1 lead. for facilities throughout the Northeast. Did you know FW Web did that? Learn more about this proud Boston Red Sox sponsored FWWeb.com. That changes for the Minnesota Twins who trail the Red Sox six to one as Eduardo Escobar moves from third base to left field here for the Twins. From first to third goes Trevor Plouffe and into the game at first base after pinch hitting is Joe Maurer. The new pitcher is Tim Stoffer. His 11th appearance of the year, 1 0 with a high 8.03 earned run average. He's walked seven but struck out only two, an opponent's hitting at 389 against Stoffer. His first pitch, a strike to Rusne Castillo. Michael Tonkin gave up the home run to Mike Napoli in his one inning of work. So, an inning, a hit, a run. He walked a batter, did not strike anybody out. Fouled off, still 0 2. 
There's Nick Steele looking for his first hit of the day. Striking out twice and grounding into a fielder's choice. And a swing and a miss, third strikeout of the day for Ruznay Castillo, one down here in the eighth. Make insurance, great service, great coverage, and a great price for auto, home, or life insurance. So one out in the eighth inning for Dustin Pedroia. Three hit day today. All singles, one to right, one to left, one to right center, and an RBI today. Down the line at third, a fair ball. It kicks off the box seats. Pedroia heading for second base. Throw there, and Dustin will be out. Picks up his fourth hit of the day. Tried to turn it into a double, but they got him down at second base. Well, you got to give uh, Santana the shortstop credit. You know, he doesn't play here in Fenway very often, but he played that very well off the wall. Now, most ballparks, that's an automatic double. Here at Fenway Park, it's an automatic single. If the shortstop does not get over there, he did get over, and they throw Pedroia out at second base. You can take that, you can take that uh, gamble when you have the lead the Red Sox have here late in the ball game. Now Mookie Betts now batting with two outs in the inning. Betts does not have a hit today, but he did get on by virtue of a walk in the fourth inning. Rick Porcello and Trevor May in the nightcap here, the day night doubleheader. Porcello four and four, May three and three. Foul back, uh, two and one count. Be sure to follow Nesson on Instagram to see all things behind the scenes this Red Sox season. Follow Nesson at Instagram.com slash Nesson. Two one pitch to Mookie Betts. Two and two now. Red Sox have banged out 13 hits today, out hitting the Twins 13 to four. That's fouls it off to the left, out of play. No, what I would what I would do if I was you. Mm -hmm. I'd go get your car and I'd put a plow on the front of it and plow the field between games. <laughs> I mean, this stuff is this junk's all over the place. Know, it's all over the booth. Yeah, it's like, uh, I don't like it. it. Seems to be increasing as the day goes on. On the ground, right side, Dozier is there. And that'll end the inning. Red Sox head to the ninth inning with a 6 1 lead over the Twins.
Six to one. Red Sox have the lead over the Minnesota Twins. Twins coming to bat here in the ninth, and more Alexi Agondo works the eighth back out there for the ninth. And there is strike one to Trevor Plouffe. Oh, for three day today. Started the game at first base, but since has shifted to third base. Did he go? No, says Ben May, first base umpire. Gondo giving up two hits, but no runs in the eighth. Key double play. Got him out of the inning. Little dribbler in front of the plate. Leon jumps out there and throws a seed to first base to get Trevor Plouffe. Nice play by Sandy Leon. Yeah, took control of that. Uh, called off the pitcher, Agando, who was headed in to try to make the play and took his time spinning around and made a good, strong, accurate throw to first base. Good, quick reactions behind the plate by Sandy Leon. I'll tell you, he's good at throwing on mentioned earlier in the game he's four for six throwing out the base dealers so far this season one down for Tory Hunter no for three today it's kind of back to the mound to first base and last time up into a fielder's choice Now this crowd will head out after the ball game. They will clean the ballpark in between and let a new crowd in for tonight's nightcap of the day night doubleheader. Fouled off to the right out of play. This game summary brought to you by Xfinity. Bill Hughes on the hook for the Twins. Five earned runs in four and a third. While Eduardo Rodriguez in line right now for his second major league victory seven innings one earned run the home run by Brian Dozier big day for Pedroia four for five and for Bogarts three for four in this day portion of the day nighter. Ball and two strikes to Tory Hunter. 25th pitch coming up here for Alexia Gondo of relief. Hondo wanted it, but appeared to be inside. In the dirt, ball four, and down to first base goes Tory Hunter. On a one out walk. Boston Red Sox baseball and Nesson is brought to you by Southwest Airlines. Book your low fare now at southwest.com. Your local Subaru dealers. And by Uno's, committed to the craft of pizza since 1943. Action for the Red Sox in the pen. Tommy Lane warming up with one out in the ninth inning. On the phone to the pen is Carl Willis. Here is Kurt Suzuki. And there is strike one. Suzuki has put the ball in the air three times in this game, flying out to center, popping out to second, and flying out to right. No one, two. In the air again, right side of the infield. Pedroia makes the catch for the second out of the ninth. Here comes Eduardo Escobar with two outs and a runner at first base. Two strikeouts today and a fly out to right.
Runner goes. Escobar swings, and it's a fly ball well to left field. Back deep, and that ball is gone. Opposite field home run for Eduardo Escobar. A two-run shot makes it 6-3. to three. As Agondo giving up the home run here that brings the Twins a little closer with two down in the ninth inning. Escobar showing some opposite field power there, picking up his third home run of the season. Had a tough start to the day, a couple of strikeouts, a fly out, but now the home run. Second home run allowed by Red Sox pitching today. And this is the fourth home run allowed by Agondo. Bounces in. And Lane has now been joined by the Red Sox closer, Koji Uihara. Foul back below us, and it's a ball and two strikes. Steady diet of sliders right here to Nunez. One ball, two strikes, two down here in the ninth. On the ground, left side. Bogarts to the backhand. That is the ball game. Nicely done by Napoli, keeping the foot on the bag to end this one. And Eduardo Rodriguez is now 2 0 in the major leagues as today, seven innings giving up one run, seven strikeouts as the Red Sox take game one of the day night doubleheader. Big days today for Xander Bogarts and for Dustin Pedroia at the plate as Mike Napoli goes deep. It's all part of a 6 3 Red Sox win, and they've taken the first two games of this four game series with a game left to play later on tonight. Until then, we'll set it outside to Tom Karen. TC.